Hi! So, um, today I wanted to discuss the term fluffy bunnies within the occult and especially neo paganism. And to do that, I've brought a little friend along. Say hello, QB! Now, I guess this isn't really a bunny, it's an anime villain, but it's Nick you. And also, this plush tie has about as much to do with the original definition of Fluffy Bunny as what some people today use it as. So, let's put the plushy toy away and get on with the topic. So, yes. What is a Fluffy Bunny? Originally, a uh, fluffy bunny was used to describe some uh, pagan who were um, who had a very superficial grasp of the religion they were following, and who um, had an overly positive view of it. Those that wouldn't work with dark side of any goddess who didn't recognize any of the dark aspects. Those that went on and said, Oh, but every spirit is love and light. That was the original definition of a fluffy bunny. Now, back then, this wasn't meant directly as an insult. Yes, it was sort of derogatory. It was... Um, it was perhaps not the most positive way to describe these people, but the problem is today it's that insult that makes the entire room go silent. Oh no, you didn't say that? And it's become a way to insult anyone who doesn't agree with your definition of paganism. At least it's that way for many people. Now, another definition of um, Fluffy Bunny, which has been the common, is someone who has a very superficial or faddish view, and often this is combined with those cutesy, everything is positive people. I can try to describe the typical Fluffy Bunny. I am. Um, met this young girl, she was 14 at the time, and she presented herself as a high priestess moonbeam. She um, sprouted, um, she had basically read the two books, both of them by Silver Raymond Wolf, and she just regurgitated anything said there, and went ballistic every time somebody didn't agree with her. And at one point she also said to me, so, surely you wouldn't say that to a high priestess? High priestess, I said, you're 14 years old, you've been practicing uh, paganism for three months. So yeah, that, that's the typical fluffy bunny. Also, there were a um, huge influx of very, um, um, what should we say, faddish um, practitioners when uh, the craft was just released, when Charmed was very popular, and so on. And this can also be described as a fluffy bunny. The people that came in and they were after... How do I change my eye color? That was the only thing that they had an interest in. So, yeah. That's the original definition of a fluffy bunny. Uh, overly positive. As in, doesn't recognize any dark aspect, pretty shallow, 
or Fadish practitioner. That, that it's that simple. So um, <clears throat> later, the term has also been used to describe any sort of light-hearted practice, and I must say that sometimes I think these light-hearted practices is um, fun. I think they have their place. And, as I said, I, I can like fluffy uh, things, like uh, rituals to uh, bless your pizza, yeah, yeah. things like that. And I think that an occult practice needs to have both the deep soul-searching aspects, but also the more light-hearted aspects which makes practice fun and this can also be the, the taken to mean fluffy um, the term comes from um, well you, you know in um, any news broadcast there's always these fluff pieces fluff pieces would be like uh, they take a break from uh, reporting on war and crime to report on this um, 85 year old lady who has just enrolled in high school to get the education she never got when she was young. It's sweet, it's sort of interesting, but it's not a huge important thing. But the case is, in news these stuff pieces are important because they they are little images of the world and they are feel-good pieces which helps balance out all the darker aspects and I think it's often when you practice it can be um, if you are only serious the whole time then for some people they say oh, the practice has gotten boring had a bit of fun in it. Make a spell which revolves around making rose petal ice cubes to bless your and your lover's drinks. Do these little cute spells sometimes. Fluff can be good. A fluffy bunny, however, is only practicing this. The light-hearted, cute fluff pieces are all there is. Now, I don't really mind this. It's not how I practice. But I feel that if that's what gives them meaning, then by all means. And basically that was the def whole definition of fluffy bunny. It wasn't used as an insult, this was more... Was it a way to look a bit down on these people? Yes, it was. But it was at the same time more um, tolerant in that way, because... Well, they would say, oh yeah, she's fluffy. She's a fluffy bunny, she's... Another term for it was plush wizard. Because there was this series of occult books which was popular at the time, which were bound in plush. So, yeah. It simply means superficial, light-hearted, and that's fine. I think that, uh, I mean like in any other interest, you have those who dedicate their life to it, and they have those that practice it now and again. Now I won't, it's not right to do what I do now and combine, and, and, and combine, and compare, that's the word. Um, 
religious practice with stamp collecting, but yeah, here it is. Some people are hardcore collectors. They go to conventions, they spend a lot of money on it, they hunt down these rare little stamps, and then you have those that have a folder with stamps in their bookcase. They, when I get a letter that, I, that has a stamp that I think is pretty, they uh, remove it from the letter and put it in the folder, and that, that's about it. And I think that any interest, any subculture, and so on, needs both kinds. There will be those occultists who, are, who isn't interested in dedicating their lives to it. They're just interested in having a bit of fun with it, and for me that that's just... it's fine. Now, when we have made the definition of Fluffy Bunny more clear, here's what I have a problem with. Fluffy Bunny has become a catch-all insult meaning I don't like you in the pagan community. If somebody says something that another doesn't like, or have a practice that I don't agree with, it's oh, they're fluffy bunnies. Often without considering what the term uh, what the term originally meant, it has become like um, in um, in BDSM, there is this insult, which is Subby Princess. Originally it meant somebody who um, um, tops from the bottom, meaning that they are submissive, but I try to control everything anyway, and who is spoiled brats. But it's been used for anybody who doesn't agree with your definition of how things should be done. And like I said, most subcultures have this catch-all insult. So basically, when you point your finger of righteousness at another occultist and say, You are a fluffy bunny. What you are saying is that you are overly positive, don't recognize the darker aspects, and is superficial. And most of the times that doesn't fit. Because what they're really saying is, you are an asshole. Let's say that. Fluffy bunny doesn't mean ignorant. It doesn't mean you're an asshole. It doesn't mean you're negative. It doesn't mean you're wrong. It doesn't mean I don't like you. And so on. Fluffy bunny means... <coughs> Well, your practice is just like the f fluff pieces on a news broadcast. It's all about puppies being rescued by firemen and 85 year old ladies going to high school. Meaning yeah, it's about, it's superficial. So the only time that an insult of you're a fluffy bunny would be appropriate is if you're trying to say your practice and your opinions are superficial or you're not recognizing the darker parts or your practice is faddish. So please find other insults to use. There's a lot of them. It shouldn't be that hard. And what you want to say is you're an asshole. So, yeah. So it's a bit of a rant. But 
it sort of irks me because every time there's an argument, whether I call this online or offline, somebody screams Fluffy Bunny. And the term was never meant to be a general insult. It wasn't meant to say you're a bad occultist, you don't know what you're talking about, and so on. But it's become that surefire way to put somebody down. A way to dominate the discussion by being the first that used the term fluffy bunny. And I think most of the time people don't even realize what the term originally meant. Now, yes, I am aware that such terms changes meaning over time, and if they had made a new meaning for Fluffy Bunny, that would be fine. But it's sort of just not defined at all, they just use it as if it were the... It's a general insult, it's... Oh no! Don't use the F word! So, yes, unless what your in insult is intended to convey is you are faddish, superficial, and overly positive, then use some imagination and find another insult. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Have a great day! And blessed be. Oh, and Hubie says goodbye too. He's gonna eat your soul. And if you had seen the anime he's from, you would understand what I'm talking about. Bye!